So I've pushed my 3000 GTV R4 in my trailer so I can put this in here. That gave me a workout. Did it all by myself in ratchet straps. Need some room so I could put that in and pull the engine out. Hoist is right there. So I've started taking apart the 95 GSX. And so far I got the exhaust manifold and turbo, intake manifold. I gotta drain the coolant, unfortunately. I hate coolant. But it's gotta be done. But this is where I'm at now. All right, so I took the camshaft out of the way and cylinder number four doesn't build any compression, but I don't know if you can see the valve stem. It's kind of damaged. I'm leaning towards this valve being bent. Hopefully that's what it is. And there aren't many surprises. This was still running. It was Ticking really bad though. Cylinder heads off the car. And if I look closely over at cylinder number four, or I mean piston number four, you can see the shiny spot where the valve relief is for the intake side. Looks like the valve hit the piston, or kissed it when it was at double digits RPM wise. Everything else seemed to be okay, but I couldn't get compression on cylinder number four. All right, here's the cylinder head inside a box. I took out the uh, number four intake springs and see the spring here, how I cannot push it anymore. That's it. That's the one that was making the noise. So I removed the springs and valves out of the head, as well as the HOAs. Here's the exhaust side. All of those came out real easy. They slide in and out. On the intake side, I have one, two, and three. See when I push down on it? gets stuck right there and then these two same thing this one's worse like that's all I can as far that's as far as I can push it so I'm gonna have to beat them out of there order new valves change the valve guides so here's the front mount intercooler off the car I removed it because I noticed that this tab here was broken this support so that one's about to snap off and those are the only supporting points that i have oh yeah i also found uh one of my rockers that failed must have fell down somewhere without the needle bearings so here's the head for my 95 gsx i'll be taking it to the machine shop here's the exhaust valves I'm gonna be reusing those because they seem to be okay. Those cable racing springs and high pressure for a uh, valve, intake valves, and the seals, and then the intake valve guides. The intake valves are the ones that took a hit, so. That's why I'm only replacing intake, unless the machine shop suggests I change the exhaust side. We'll see what he says. Here's the crankshaft. Just installed it. Just making sure it's not binding or anything. It's got assembly lube on all the main bearings. And now I gotta do the rods. So I didn't really film much last night. I was up till almost 4 a.m. putting this thing together. I'm gonna be taking it over to my buddy's house to set the head on and degree the cams. So that'll be fun. Summit degree wheel. 
All right, so the engine's back from my buddy's house. Big thanks to Z and Cisco. They degreed my cams. This one's two degrees retarded, it looks like. That one's dead on zero, the intake. Big thanks to those guys. I just lubed everything, put the lifters in, the rockers. Not much to go, really. Got a mess on top of my car. I'm just draining the fuel right now. This is how the car is looking. It didn't really record much. Still got to put the coil on plug. Oh, and spark plugs. I drained all the fuel out of it. Right now my friend Z is dialing it in so I can start it tomorrow. I'm excited for this. This thing should rip. All right, so the coil unplugs in. New fuel pumps in. Let's see what happens. Oh, nothing. Forgot to turn on the breaker. See what happens. Well, almost. Bad ground. Okay, so I've been slacking. Haven't recorded much, but I can finally say this is done. Not fully tuned, but, you know, back up and running. Well, as you can see, I've changed that cam angle sensor cover I cracked my plastic one. Oh, and it was bad anyways my friend Cisco hooked it up with this good one I mean it was broken here so I, what I did was I took the guts out of it and swapped it onto my good housing now it's good to go it's almost 10 o'clock at night time to make some noise Wake up the neighbors. All right, so let's see what happens.
All right, so this thing is back in the garage. I managed to put, ooh, 15 miles on it. Just took it for a quick spin. I did notice my second gear was crunchy. I'll have to address that transmission issue soon. And that's it. I'm just glad the 95 GSX is back up and running. It makes me happy. I've got too many projects to do. This thing still hasn't been touched. Too many things going on. Not enough time.